we have a human here, so I guess I'll record this for people to see it later. Hello, Karen. Oh, hello. I have only one question. <laughs> so, I don't believe you. Yeah. <laughs> so my question is like how to onboard new hires successfully and plan their first 30, 60 and 90 days. How to onboard new hires successfully and plan their first 30, 60, 90 days. Okay, let me write that down. How to onboard new hires successful, oops, successfully and plan their 30, 60, 90 days. Question, are, are you asking this uh, from the perspective of someone who will manage those people or someone who will be that new hire? No will manage you'll man someone will manage okay um so typically onboarding takes a lot of different forms uh let me put this on the screen too um you might have it onboarding where they're going to make sure this person gets computers and software and equipment uh there is sometimes hr onboarding where um, they're going to learn values and policies and how to ask for time off. Um, there's usually multiple onboardings in a company. Um, and then, of course, there's also your team onboarding, where a leader or manager uh, is going to help you understand what's going on there and how you might do your job. So, um, it's hard for me to say this is exactly how you onboard because every company is different, but I've seen that there's usually many types of onboarding. Um, for the manager to work with someone on a 30, 60, 90 day plan, that plan should normally include, at least in my opinion, you can Google for other ideas, um, the, the projects they'll work on any ways that they're going to measure or assess your work. So are they checking your work for certain types of skills or uh, deadlines or anything like that? Um, what else would be in 30, 60, day, 90? Sometimes there is, um, you want to plan check-ins with the manager. So if they're, uh, they, you want to make sure you're checking in with them, hopefully weekly when you're still new so that you can make sure you're getting help and support and questions answered. Um, so let's see, we have goals. Sometimes at the start of a new job, a manager uh, wants an, a new worker to look at their growth or long-term goals. Like, hey, it's your first week or month here, but we hope you'll still be here next year. What do you hope to have accomplished by next year? How do you want to grow? Uh, sometimes that has to do with skills or taking courses or going to conferences, uh, which sometimes companies pay for, depending upon where you're working. So sometimes your your early plans uh, are related to your growth and how your manager is going to support and coach you through that growth. Um, I did not do a 30, 60, 90 with my new job. And even if I did, I don't even know what I would put in it. You know, basically in week three, I'm just hitting the ground running. Um, yeah, I'd probably have to look up a little bit more of what could or should go in this, but uh, I'm not sure I have the greatest answer. What have you found so far? Uh, it's great. I have another follow-up um, about, like, you mentioned that how how they will measure your performance, and it's, it's kind of a tricky question. Like, how would you suggest to measure a uh, UX researcher or a designer? It seems like I can measure like somebody who is like developer, uh, but uh, our work you can mm, you can see the results uh, far in the future. Uh, I can't imagine that. Yeah, um, I can speak to that. Um, the The way that I tend to measure somebody's performance is I use a framework that I made up, um, 
And uh, for some reason, I, I named it after four letters so I could remember what it is. And I don't know what the fourth letter is, but, but I'll tell you what it is. So the first letter is C for critical thinking. So you know me, I'm taking a look at our people thinking critically in their work. Are they asking good questions? Uh, are they stepping out of the box and and not just sorry all the sounds are going off on my phone and not just uh looking at one thing or one way um next is a for attention to detail i think especially some newer people in ux sometimes don't yet have that feel for how detailed we have to be and so i'm really looking for attention to detail which also tends to include consistency this is especially true for designers more more so than researchers but consistency in a designer's work and the attention to detail there is important and attention to detail is important in the researcher's work as well um, but uh the consistency is probably more for a designer T is for technical excellence. Um, I want to make sure that people are doing the craft of research or design or writing or whatever it is uh, as, as well as possible. So I'm looking really at the quality of their work. Are these designs good? Are they uh, taking into account best practices and accessibility and any research we have or knowledge about users? Um, so how technically good is someone, uh, some of that could cross over into critical thinking, but how technically good is someone's work? Uh, what's their process like? How do they use that process? How are they using their time? Things like that. And then my last one is usually letter E, but I don't remember what the E stands for. I only remember that my fourth one is, are people learning from previous feedback I gave them? So for example, if I've worked with a designer two weeks ago and I noticed their attention to detail wasn't that great and they were making some sloppy mistakes and I pointed them out, if I'm checking their work again in the future, are they now doing a better job checking themselves for these details or am I seeing the same mistakes over and over again? Um, because if I'm seeing the same mistakes over and over again, then either we, we have some sort of problem. Either I didn't explain it very well, so something was not understood, but they didn't want to say anything. Um, it could be sometimes that you have someone who doesn't want to change. They like the way they're doing things and they don't want to do something differently. There could be another reason. They could just be rushing and, um, going too fast or not working with a lot of attention to the detail. So my last one, and I don't remember why it's letter E, I'm going to have to figure that out someday, but it helps me remember C-A-T-E, Kate, uh, like a woman's name. Um, I, uh, I don't, I, may, I might have to change it to cats now because I can think of the letter S. But anyway, cats. Uh, S was for, do I have to spoon feed people? So we say spoon feed when like, you know, like the way you feed a baby, like, oh no, I have to tell this person this every time I have to put the food in their mouth. So we say spoon feed someone. Um, and so, uh, I mean, it's real spoon feeding and slang as well. So, um, it, do I feel like I have to spoon feed someone who should have known better? And if they're more junior, then maybe they shouldn't have known better and I wouldn't hold that against them. But if they're a little bit more senior or we've talked about it before, I don't want to have to spoon feed them. So whatever letter we put on the end of that is really about, are they learning from previous uh, feedback or input so that I don't, unless they do have a real memory issue, um, so that I don't feel like I'm giving them the same advice over and over. Um, that's normally how I measure somebody's work. Great. Like, it's, yeah, uh, I don't have any question. It's, it, it's, it's excellent. Like, I think it's, it's great. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, nobody else is here. We could uh, we could just hang up and everybody gets their day back. So, um, yeah, that, that, but they're good questions, and I and I hope they do help people. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you don't have to stay. Nobody else is here. Nobody else is asking. I hope eventually we'll have a very active patron only AMA. Mm.
Like I'm kind of shy that th that this is a recording now. <laughs> it is recorded because my goal is that people who missed this can watch it later because your questions will help other people. Yes. And we have the anonymous way to ask in the Discord. So if people don't want me to go, it's Karen, you know, then you can put it in the Discord. The end. We could we could close the show. Yeah, I think so. Uh, why not? If no one is here, I don't. No know. one is here. Thanks to everybody watching the video later, but no one's here. So <laughs> again, eventually this will be more active. I hope, but I'm I'm making it available. So uh, all right. Hey, thanks Thank to you. you. I'll catch you later. Bye bye. Bye.